people resort to violence and criminal activities to express their displeasure with the situation or towards a specific group, the RCMP's increased involvement is necessary. That's RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky addressing the violence in Nova Scotia while defending the Mounties' response as solidarity protests across the country continue and Indigenous and non-Indigenous fishermen square off over the legal right to hunt and fish for lobsters. Lucky, pressed by reporters Wednesday about the RCMP's involvement so far in the lobster dispute as acts of arson, violence and intimidation tactics between commercial and Indigenous fishermen continue over the right to fish for lobsters outside of the federally regulated season. Indigenous Services Minister Mark Miller suggested the RCMP have let down the Indigenous fishermen after being seen to stand by as crimes were being committed, but Lucky says that's not the case. That we are fully committed to keeping the peace keeping people safe and enforcing the law. Meanwhile, Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs Grand Chief Arlen Dumas responded to Lucky while also calling for her to resign. I am utterly appalled that Commissioner Lucky has gone on record to state that the RCMP has not let down the Mi'kmaq fishers in Nova Scotia. To go on record to state that a number of these incidents occurred were not witnessed by the RCMP when there are videos circulating on social media that show the contrary is obscene. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we're here today because our livelihood is being threatened out east. While this isn't the first time tempers have flared over fishing rights in the region, Senator Murray Sinclair says the Mi'kmaq people have the law on their side, pointing to a treaty that was negotiated and signed between the Crown and the Indigenous people in the area over 250 years ago. 1750 treaty very simply says that the uh, right of the Mi'kmaq people, the right of the Indigenous people who signed the treaty to continue to hunt and fish as they had traditionally to that point in time was guaranteed. In the meantime, Fisheries Minister Bernadette Jordan and Chief Mike Sack are currently in negotiations over how to best manage the Indigenous lobster fishery. Chief Sack, who was recently attacked during protests, says to date vandalism and lost lobster sales have cost his band more than $1.5 million. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.